Hi guys, I just thought we'd have a look at the uh, Senai uh, Mi uh, console. Uh, this is uh, available once you've installed the software on your PC and it has started to send readings to uh, Senai's server. If you go to, I think it's senai.me or something like that, uh, then this is the screen that comes up. And um, <clears throat> You have an overview of the tank conditions. Uh, so you've got the overall, which is in the green, the pH, uh, which is uh, uh, a little uh, a warning, you know, heading up towards the warning, and uh, temperature, uh, ammonia, and the light conditions, which are on 100% at the moment. Uh, you then have the pH readings. Uh, we've got current and average and you can hover the mouse pointer over any part of the line and it will tell you the date, time and uh, the actual reading and uh, you'll see that the pH drops as the lights go off uh, about I think it's 10 o'clock and that drops and now it's heading up uh, again now uh, you can change the graph from as it is there to actual actual times and statistics. Just scroll through there. That's quite handy. And switch back to the graph and click on today for today's results. I think uh, yeah. Now, if you want to adjust these, oh, hang on, yeah, I needed to click on to date. Didn't see that. I'm looking through the iPhone's lens, so that should now start from uh, the first readings uh, today, and right the way along to the current readings available. Uh, current trend is going down with the actual values there. Now you can adjust these alarm uh, values. If you just click on the uh, little padlock symbol, give it a second, that will change. And now you can actually drag the upper and lower warnings around to suit your conditions. And I'm not going to save that, we'll just come out of that in a minute. Uh, then you've got the free ammonia and 0 0.001 and 0 0.002 as an average. Now, if you look at the bottom there, you can see a little spike about uh, I think when that was about yeah about half nine, half eight nine o'clock well that is because I was cleaning the glass on the inside and uh, I managed just to uh, knock up some debris from the sand and got the water a little bit cloudy uh, and that caused that to spike there and uh, uh, a warning was sent to my uh, to my phone as a text and I got an email as well so you know it's, it's very sensitive and uh, yeah, it seems pretty accurate worked very well I was, I was pleased with that I also had a warning um, yeah you can see here look it went from 0 0.001 to 0 0.02 and then started going uh, back down again over the next hour or so um, or a couple of hours perhaps so it does seem to be uh, very, very sensitive. Uh, pretty pleased with that. Uh, again, you've got the padlock symbol up here, so you can adjust the upper and lower war uh, warning levels. Um, and that's that. And then, now see, it's just refreshed itself. It will do that every few minutes, just so it's got the latest data. Uh, the temperature here uh, over the last few days has been fairly stable, but we had a bit of a dip uh, last night. It was uh, yeah, uh, about 4 in the morning. Obviously, that's when the heating is off, uh, and I've got the upper and lower warnings quite close together. Uh, I think we're on, well, what, what is that reading? 23.5, and the highest reading was... 24.5 so over the course of you know, 13 hours we've had a one degree variation and I'd rather it was more accurate than that I guess um, but you can see the current trend 
the current temperature and the average temperature and it's also telling you that uh, there may be trouble in a couple of hours time uh, based on the current uh, trend um, so that's the date, that's the last reading time and uh, some figures that's saying it's safely in the water and that's saying that the slide is correct and in place and then over here we have the uh, light meter uh, readings now very kindly Senai upgraded me from the home version uh, to the reef version that has this light uh, reading facility uh, they said as I was reviewing the product they would upgrade me to this which is only a software um, you know upgrade it's uh, it's not the unit has all of the units have uh, this facility in fact when you first buy it it actually works probably for the first couple of minutes uh, before it realizes it's, it's the home version and then uh, goes off and you can see here my stepped uh, lights on sequence so LEDs are on around 9 uh, and then a little bit later we have the um, first fluorescent tube and then the second one and then the, you know everything is on to uh, till this evening uh, so yeah overall I'm, uh, I'm actually pretty impressed with this uh, as I mentioned on the forum uh, they have a number of new features the Senai uh, unit itself will be uh, available in black at some point which is obviously the colour I would have chosen um, bearing in mind the uh, colour of the tank and everything um, but you know, these things aren't all going to come out in one go uh, they are producing a, uh, an ac a clear acrylic uh, clip for it with a magnet to hold it more securely onto the glass wherever you want it. Uh, you can probably just see if I zoom in a fraction. Uh, yeah, the sucker is at the top and what it tends to do is it turns over on itself slightly so you can't get it nice and neat and upright because the cable uh, is quite... Uh, quite thick and heavy so it tends to pull it over and I just would prefer it to be upright you know perfectly and make it look nice and neat so hopefully that magnetic acrylic um, fixer will be available soon the Senai web server is I think in final development I think the products produced they're just improving the user uh, interface the software um, so I'll certainly get that as soon as possible. At the moment I'm running it on this laptop uh, and the laptop is on permanently which is you know, a bit of a waste of, uh, of power. Um, but as you know if, uh, if you plug the Senai's USB cable into a, the power supply that, it, so that is an optional extra it will store uh, the readings for you and then it will upload them uh, to Senai and then the next time you plug the USB cable into your laptop so uh, you know that's going to work as well but of course it won't give you the alerts email and text alerts if it's not plugged into your um, uh, you know your laptop and is actually updating live so something to bear in mind so yeah I've had uh, the pH light on the unit itself come on and I've seen the ammonia light on the unit come on and we have also received text alerts uh, for the ammonia and uh, email alerts for the ammonia as well. So, you know, all in all, despite my uh, initial impressions, I've been very pleased. The service we've had from Senai has been excellent. It's uh, you can ring them on a uh, an O, you know, normal BT number. Uh, which is really nice these days and you actually get through to the guys who are working on the products uh, all the time so you're really speaking to somebody who knows what they're talking about straight away uh, so yeah thoroughly recommend it uh, actually um, I expect there's other devices out there that do something similar I'm not aware any uh, aware of any yet because I'm fairly new to this marine uh, tank forum and uh, the whole the whole hobby um, but yeah this is ideal this is what I wanted 
So, uh, yep, yeah, hope that was useful to someone, and I'll catch you later.